shot and killed inside the newsroom for the Capitol Gazette in Annapolis, Maryland. But the newspaper staff is pushing forward in the wake of the deadly shooting. Take a look at this. This is the front page of today's edition of the Capitol Gazette, published just hours after the gunman opened fire. Our news reporter Trang Doe is live in the CBS 3 News Center with the latest. Trang. Over Helen Jan, in honor of the five fallen colleagues, the paper staff vowed to press on and tell the difficult story of the horrific attack on their newsroom. But they also decided to keep the opinion page blank, writing, Today we are speechless. And as tributes pour in for the victims, we've learned the suspect felt animosity for the paper dating back years. This is the front page of today's Capital Gazette, the morning after a gunman opened fire inside the paper's Annapolis, Maryland newsroom, killing five employees and injuring two others. First victim's name is Wendy Winters. Second victim is Rebecca Smith. Third victim is Robert Hyacin. Fourth victim is Gerald Feshman. And the fifth victim is John McNamara. Several shots have been fired. Uh, possible uh, shotgun. At least 10 shots heard. 38 year old Jared Ramos is now charged with five counts of first degree murder. Officers say he used a shotgun and was carrying smoke grenades when he was caught. Police arrived at the scene within a minute of the first emergency call. They just went straight in there. And uh, when he heard them coming, I, he, he threw his weapon down. And, uh, and less lives were lost than I think could have been lost. Sources say Ramos was uncooperative and had no identification on him, even went as far as damaging his own fingertips to prevent quick identification. Investigators use facial recognition software to figure out his identity. Authorities were seen searching his apartment in Laurel late last night. The Gazette reported that Ramos had a long-standing grudge against the paper. He brought a defamation suit against it in 2012, but the case was dismissed by a judge. And two other employees were treated and released from the hospital when they were hit by flying glass. Meanwhile, Ramos has a bail review hearing for 1030 this morning. But for now, we're live from the CBS 3 News Center. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.